say goodbye to the Zexy Zek Skater. Because today's a special episode, guys. And for a special episode, we need a very special guest. So we're not going to be skating as me today. Today, we're going to be skating as the one and only Coach Frank. Oh my god, he is caked up. Hey, what is up, guys? Zek here. Welcome back to another video. So today, as you guys can see, we are back on Skate 3. And this is a very special episode because Skate 3 just turned 12 years old. Yes, this game came out 12 years ago. So to celebrate, we're going to be doing all of our epic Skate 3 challenges today as the one and only Coach Frank. Literally the greatest skater to ever live. So this is going to be a very fun episode. We have some awesome challenges that you guys sent me on Twitter, Instagram, and my subreddit. So, oh, what the heck? I don't think we're even going to fall today. I don't even think coach frank can fall off a skateboard this is gonna be a fun episode guys so without further ado let's just get straight into it our first challenge for coach frank comes from spooky noodles 301 i love the name let's watch the clip as you can see it looks like they're near the ocean by the docks they jump down into that big half pipe area they come all the way up and foot plant perfectly in between the two beams that is some precision right there all right coach frank is starting out with a really tough challenge but i don't think there's any challenge too tough for coach frank We're we're gonna get all these challenges with ease today. But anyways, let's head over to the dry docks. All right, so we gotta go around this giant boat and we have to get on one of the pillars up there. Wait, what are those called? Not pillars. There are some giant beams holding up this broken ship, and we need to get on top of them. All right, so we're going to use the launch glitch. This is the first time I've ever used the launch glitch with Coach Frank, so this will be fun. It's crazy to think that this game has been out for 12 years because that is over half of my life. I've been playing Skate 3 for over half my life now. That is insane. And here we are, still doing speed glitches, still doing launch glitches, and still doing Skate 3 challenges. Oh my gosh, that was perfect. No, stay, please. Yes, let's go. I'm telling you guys, the Coach Frank episode is going to be the easiest one for me to film. All right, so all we have to do is jump. Oh, I totally jumped the wrong area. Oh no, I'm sorry, Coach Frank. All right, I think I have to jump over here. Yes, okay, so we need to jump down into here and go up all the way to the pillar and then foot plant off of it. I have actually gapped over that beam before. You guys may remember that from a previous episode, but I've never done this foot plant. And I'm pretty sure this foot plant is gonna be harder because you have to be perfectly precise in order to get the exact spot. Oh, we're not even getting up to it right now, but look at the cool shoes Coach Frank has on. This is definitely the most stylish episode of epic skate 3 challenges ever filmed okay and up oh i think we got the height there oh oh we just missed i think my hand actually touched it yeah look at this replay my hand boop <laughs> my hand barely touched it on the way by that was pretty cool i also can't get over how caked up this guy is all right let's give this another go we need to get the height i can either get the height or the distance but so far oh that's the wrong way i haven't been able to get both oh that was kind of sick all right hop in with the melon grab you have to hit it just right to get enough speed to launch all the way up up. Oh, where is it? I gotta try not to hit this thing. Oh, I think I jumped too far in. Yeah, this is tough. Okay. Perfect. And this could be it. No. Okay, that was pretty close, though. I'm letting Coach Frank down. Co if I wasn't controlling him, he would have done this challenge 10 minutes ago. But now I'm controlling him, of course. So he's struggling over here. Oh, that's a good drop in. Never mind. It's a terrible drop in. Good. Up, okay. Foot plant. Ooh, what the? Wait, what? Oh, we landed it. Oh, I think we did it. Wait, I need to watch that replay. It looks like my foot went through the beam. I got to see what happened here. We definitely foot planted something. Oh my gosh, my knee went through it. Oh, I can't take that. We got to get a cleaner one than that, but at least we landed something. And oh, I got my foot on it again, but not in the right spot. Oh, oh, so close again. If Coach Frank is going to land this trick, he's going to land it cleanly, okay? We're not taking anything that's almost there. We're going to get it perfectly. Oh, perfect. Yes, and land it. Let's go, Coach Frank. All right, that was a perfectly clean way to land that foot plant off the beam. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, that was such a satisfying challenge, especially as Coach Frank, but huge melon grab into this like half pipe. We popped all the way up and look at this. A boop, perfect foot plant on the beam. It does not get cleaner than that. All right, first challenge as Coach Frank completed. Let's watch the replay. Yes. 
Yes, sir. That was awesome. All right. Well, that'll do it for the first challenge. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I think it might be time to turn. Oh, had to burp. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I think it might be time to teach Coach Frank how to do the insane speed glitch because our next challenge is an insane speed glitch challenge. Let's watch it. Our next challenge is one of the coolest gaps I've seen in a while. It comes from Cheem's Burglar Skate on my subreddit. Let's watch the clip. They're at the observatory. Speed glitch off the side, up through the tree, and yes, they land in the ditch. That is so cool, and now they are flying down the ditch. That is such an awesome spot, and it must be so fun flying down the ditch at full speed. So we're we're gonna go there next and we're gonna try this challenge all right here we are at the observatory at the very top of the skate 3 map and we're gonna try to speed glitch up and out of this bowl into the ditch this is really cool i like the, all the planets on like the walls like the artwork here is actually really sick and of course you have the planetarium is that what it's called the, i guess it's called the observatory now for zexy zek this might be a tough challenge but for coach frank i think this is gonna be a first try watch and learn boys first try oh oh he actually oh no okay well for a first try it wasn't that bad we got it first try, which is kind of a miracle, but now we need to launch into the ditch, not into a tree. And go. Okay. Oh, that's too high. I feel like I need to go, like, around the bowl more. And go. All right. Around. And then we have to pull it all the way back. Oh, this is a pretty cool gap, but... Oh, we're landing in the forest. I feel like that was so good until I hit the tree. Okay. Oh, why do I keep going into this tree? What's going on? Okay. Nope. <laughs> Three times in a row I've landed in this freaking tree. I feel like I still need to ride around the bull more. I don't know why. I feel like I'm not getting the right angle. But, oh, there we go, kind of. Looks and like go. Okay. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Look, we were lined up, but I hit the observatory. Okay. Oh, that looks so good. Yes. Go. No, I hit the tree. Oh, my gosh. I thought we had it. Okay. No. Oh, that was brutal, actually. Oh, that was double brutal. All right, Coach Frank's kind of getting beaten up by this challenge. Not going to lie. Oh, that's looking great. That's looking great. Off the tree again, bro. These trees. Oh, that's beautiful. No, it's not because of a tree. I'm cutting a tree down, and then I'm going to burn it. And I'm not even going to sit next to the fire to enjoy it. I'm just going to burn it if I hit one more tree. Oh, the trees, bro. The trees. Please don't hit the tree. Come on. Oh, dodge the tree. No, but he made, made me do a backflip. What? Oh, that was kind of funny, though. Oh, come on. Don't even think about hitting the tree. I hit both trees. I hit both trees. How's that even possible? Yeah, that wasn't. Oh, yes, let's go. I made it through the trees. Oh, we're counting that. We made it into the ditch through the trees. Oh my gosh. We face planted at the end, but we actually rode down the ditch from the gap. Let's go. Oh, I battled this tree for so long and I finally defeated it. Look at this. Boop, right through the tree. I can't even believe it. And then look at this landing just perfectly all along the side. Oh, I was excited about riding all the way down, but I am done dealing with that tree. I'm counting that as a land. All right. Whew. Nice. Let's go. That is an awesome gap into the ditch and I face planted at the end. But we're counting that. That was awesome. All right. Thank you for sending in that challenge. All right. Our next challenge is pretty interesting. It comes from Skate3Tommy on Twitter. Let's watch it. He's in a custom park with a giant ramp. He goes all the way down and he's approaching this like circular like disc. He goes up and all the way around it. That is crazy. He actually goes up and around another time, jumps off of it and lands it and rides away. That is so cool and creative. All right, Coach Frank, we're taking you to a custom park. Okay. So we're inside of the giant stadium we have a ton of space to build here we're gonna build a giant ramp and then try to recreate what tommy did all right so i'm just building a pretty standard ramp here nothing like what you guys may have seen in the last episode the modded episode with like the ramp that went into the sky nope we actually just have a pretty normal ramp i think i might have built this wrong though all right so we're gonna fly down this mega ramp and then we have to build this like circular loop i don't even know what that counts as like what where do i even find that I'm going to be so mad if this doesn't make a perfect circle. If this doesn't complete... Oh my gosh. Okay, I think it will. Oh, wait. 
Yes. There we go. All right, we got our disc. Wait, that looks so cool. All right, now we need to build a little ramp so that we can launch up onto it. Oh, man, I might, I might, yeah, I think I might need to turn this on its side a little more. This looks like it could potentially work. All right, here we go. Coach Frank down the giant mega ramp. We'll get a tail walk in there. Okay, this is going to be really hard. Should I ollie? Like, I don't even know what to, how do I even try this? Oh, my gosh. All right, Coach Frank, I think you might be going a little too fast. So we're going to try to go a little bit slower here. Okay. And then Ollie onto it. Okay, that was closer. Definitely closer. Full speed ahead. And oh, I'm going to give it one more try. And if I can't get into it, I think I'm going to tilt the whole thing. So that's a little less upright. Like, I think I'm going to make it. Oh, okay. We kind of got onto it. But I do think that it would help if it were tilted a little bit. Yeah, I want to tilt it toward me. Yeah, like that kind of. Okay, we're getting closer. All right, either way, I think that looks a lot better. The problem was it seemed like it was too like steep, too upright to even hop into a grind. So hopefully this will make it a little easier. Not, not a good start. I just want to get onto it once. Okay, yes! Oh, there we go! Yes, we got onto it! All right, we made it halfway up and around. We're just trying to make it all the way around. If we can go from the bottom all the way up and around and back to the bottom, I will count that. I've always been pretty bad at grinds in this game, and this is kind of exposing that because I can't even hit, I can't even get onto it right now. No! Yes! Oh, come on. Oh, why do we keep only making it halfway up? I don't know if we need to be going faster. Oh, so close again. Go, 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 go. Yes. Oh, we actually switched into a different grind. Wait, that was sick. I need to watch that back. I think we made it all the way around the loop. Let's watch it. We go all the way up and around. And then what happened here? I like switched into a backsmith or like a 50-50 and then kind of rode away. All right. That was okay. But I'm going to try it one more time. See if I can clean it up. Oh, that was so close. Yes, let's go all the way around the loop in the board slide. That is what we were looking for. That was a perfect loop. This challenge turned out to be a lot more difficult than I was expecting. But here we go. We finally made it ollie and board slide around the entire loop. That is so cool. My camera can't even keep up. But there we go. That was perfect. All right. Great clip there. That was really fun. All right. Thank you, Skate3 Tommy, for sending in that challenge. Always killing it with these challenges. All right, guys. That means we have one final challenge for this episode and for Coach Frank. So let's get into it. This is a challenge from Dr. Eckelschmecker on my subreddit. Great name. Let's watch it. It looks like they're in the university district near the campus. They beach ball speed glitch up to this ramp. They go flying and boom, board slide onto the longest rail in the map. And there they go out to fakey and then they slam into the wall. But that was pretty cool. You can see it up there. I'm pretty sure it's the longest rail in the game. That's not in like a custom park because this rail, I think, is over 500 feet long. So we're going to try to do a speed glitch glitch launch well a beach ball speed glitch launch onto the rail okay so we need to put a ramp here and we need to try to launch onto that rail so let's toss down a large wedge ramp right here we got to kind of angle it toward the rail i don't exactly know where we're going to be landing but that looks about right we'll start back here and then we need to place down a beach ball for the beach ball speed glitch which is a pretty tough speed glitch to get Basically, you just do the launch glitch. Oh, off the side of the beach ball like that. But it, it's kind of, yeah, it you got to get it like pretty it good or else it launches you funny. But I think I figured out how to stay on the ground with the beach ball speed glitch. Okay, there we go. Oh, we're going into a wall, right? Oh, oh, <laughs> what? This is crazy. Wait, that was, that was like a challenge on its own. That was sick. Oh, what a wall ride. We're definitely getting enough speed. Oh, come on, come on. What? What just happened? I glitched through the rail. I tried to hit the board slide and then boop. What? My board went through the rail. In fact, somebody could use Coach Frank's help about now. Yes, into the 5-0. Let's go, Coach Frank. The biggest rail. Yes, and we landed and just like them, we face plant into the wall at the end. Let's go. That was perfect. That was so smooth, except for that at the end. But the grind was so smooth. That was awesome. All right, we will take that. Look at him go. Good job, Coach Frank. 
Well, all right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed some epic Skate 3 challenges as Coach Frank. I had a ton of fun in this video, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any epic Skate 3 challenges of your own you'd like to send me, you can send them to me on Twitter, Instagram, or my subreddit. All the links are down in the description. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy 12th birthday, Skate 3. And as always, stay sexy. See you guys.